Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. We are here and ready to have a good Friday, right? Last Friday was actually Good Friday. Hopefully everybody had a great Easter weekend. Um, and yeah, I don't know about you, but in Michigan, we are having like summer weather. It is absolutely insane. So everyone is walking around, um, you know, in their shorts and t-shirts and their windows are down and lots of people are walking around the house. So I'll warn you right now, um, because Stormy is on hot high patrol right now with everyone out and about. So I'm sure he'll be making his presence known also. So yes, yeah, so I always think I have to introduce myself. Somebody mentioned that to me, I don't know, a while ago. So anyway, I'm Amy Ferlici and I'm so glad you're here joining me today on Ferlici Friday. And hello, Miss Vina, thanks for joining us. So we have lots and lots of good stuff to share today. It's kind of this weird in-between time where we're uh, you know, kind of focusing on our retiring list. Bonnie, hello, welcome, and thanks for sharing the video. Um, yeah, so we've got the retiring lists right now. The new annual catalog is, um, uh, well, about to start. We got a couple more weeks on that. So I hesitate to show too much new stuff because you can't order it quite yet. So um, I think I'll focus more on new stuff on our next Facebook Live, which will be um, two weeks from today. Hello, Tracy. So thanks for joining us. And Judy, hello, hello. Welcome, ladies. So glad everybody can be here. Um, but let's see, where is, I'm going to find my other, I meant to grab um, the designer serious paper and I did not do that, but we are, it's good to see you too, Vina. Um, <clears throat> we are going to be playing with, and even bring it over, that's kind of craziness, uh, but it is, well, I'll show you, and this is the current annual catalog, so I can show you this, I can't show the inside of any of our new annual catalog yet. Anna, hello and welcome. But we are gonna be playing with that beautiful, it's called Design a Daydream Designer Series Paper. It's part of the host offering. So in the very back of our current annual catalog, it's one of the host products. So if you put an order in totaling more than 150, <laughs> there he is. Yep, that'll happen many times, I'm sure, on Facebook Live today, and I'm gonna just grin and bear it. <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, if you put an order in of um, at least $150, then you get 10% in host rewards. That's what the host rewards start at. Um, the more orders you put in, 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 one, in one order though, not like, you know, over time it has to be one order. Um, the higher the value, the higher the percentage of um, rewards. You can't really see right there, but it starts at 10% and it maxes out at 16% on a $600 order. But anyway, in the meantime, hello Mary, thanks for joining us. If you were to put a, um, a minimum $150 order in, then you can get this host design a daydream designer series paper for free with your um, host dollars. So that's the only way you can get that designer series paper. And it's one of, it's just this really beautiful kind of soft pastel -y patterns of paper. There's actually Blackberry Bliss is included in it also. So I'll share that with you guys too. So generally kind of light, pretty pastels that I think of for springtime and then this bold pop of like deep purple Blackberry Bliss color in there as well. So it's beautiful designer series paper. If you don't have it yet, you're gonna wanna make sure you get it because it is retiring and it's, you know, while supplies last in terms of pretty everything, everything that's on the retiring list now is all while supplies last. So make sure that you get what you can while you can. I always, always say that, but I'm just, always um, you know, trying to make sure everybody knows that too. So the one other big thing to make sure <clears throat> that you guys all know about is all of the colors that are retiring. So we're going through what's called a color renovation. Maybe I'll just flash these up one at a time. Um, so we're getting rid of some colors and there's a, there are a couple heartbreakers in here. One in particular for me, I will say, I'm like, I can't believe they're getting rid of it. but. Um, lots of beautiful new colors coming in too. I will tell you though, I put my pre-order in as demonstrators we could order on April 4th and Stampin' Up! is so like bogged down with orders that I still don't have my order that I put in on April 4th. So I will have it by the next time we do Facebook Live again as um, so we'll be able to focus on some of those new colors next time. But in the meantime, we wanna make sure that you guys know about all of the retiring colors. So this is kind of a quick sweep of all of the retiring colors. And I'm gonna kind of flash them up one at a time so that you know. So Mango Melody, one of the fun, beautiful, kind of bright orangey colors. Ooh, that like, <laughs> 
that looks weird in the lighting there, doesn't it? Uh, so saffron, a very pretty pale yellow. This is kind of a pale green pear pizzazz is retiring. Mint macaron is another subtle color that's retiring. Blushing bride, uh, pretty pale pink. My favorite Bermuda Bay. This is my heartbreaker right here. Love that color. Uh, rich razzleberry is retiring. Pacific Point is retiring. Mary Merlot. Uh, this one is Sahara Sand and Soft Suede. So if you love those colors, make sure you order cardstock, ink, refills, um, embellishments, ribbon, markers, blends, anything that you want in those colors, get them while you can. Some I've noticed, I think it's mainly cardstock. Some of the cardstock has already sold out in those colors. So it, it is definitely going and it's only while supplies last. So make sure you get what you want while you still can before those colors are gone forever. And then in addition, the <clears throat> there are actually only four retiring in colors because Fresh Freesia, the really pretty pale purple, is carrying over as one of our um, like current core colors it will be. So, but these are the retiring in colors. So we have Evening Evergreen, Pale Papaya, Soft Succulent, and Polished Pink. Those four colors are also retiring going away. So again, get what you can while you can in any of those colors as well, okay? Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention too was, so I have, I have links like online to these lists. I mean, can you even like, can you, you can't even read them, right? If you were to click on the link, you can like up in the top, um, I think it says it's maybe at like 100%, whatever the percentage is, if you click on that number, you can make it bigger, make it 200% or something so you can actually read these. Um, so we've got like about five pages, I think, of things that are retiring in the current annual catalog and then like one and a half pages of things that are retiring in the new, well, in the current mini catalog. The other thing that you can do though is just go to stampinup.com and literally you go to stampinup.com, the very first banner that pops up right there, it says like 60% off last chance products. Just click on that banner immediately and everything that is still available that is retiring, you'll see pictures of, which I think is about the best way to look at it anyway. Um, you know, unless you have your catalog, this goes in like chronological order, page number order, right? So you could flip and kind of cross-reference from your list to your pages. Um, but if there's something in particular, you know, that you're looking at, you can always just um, look it up too and see if it's retiring on stampinup.com. Um, you can even sort on there too. Um, I was kind of looking at that because I've not really played with that very much. Um, but you can sort by price, by stamp set type, by suite, by seasons, lots of different, way you, different ways that you can sort things. Um, on there too, if you're looking, but uh, you know, it's a ton, right? I mean, if this is like, this is like six and a half pages, a very small print. So there's lots and lots of stuff that is retiring. But then of course, there'll be some fun new stuff coming in our next annual catalog also. But lots of things are on sale too, like that banner says up to 60% off. So make sure you check that out. Because right on there too, if you see a picture of something, you know, stamp set, designer series paper, embellishment, whatever it is, hello Deb, it'll give you the sale price right there too. So you be able to see oh my gosh it's not even full price anymore it's on sale so another great reason to take advantage of that and if you're having any trouble at all just email me amy.ferlici at yahoo.com i'm happy to help you i can put an order in for you whatever you need so you make sure you get what you want while you still can from those retiring lists uh, oh okay so i have to show you guys this super cute good morning thanks for sharing the video deb um this was a super cute card that i received from linda Kohlhoff, um little v easter card i was gonna say valentine's day i'm like that's not right this is a super cute little easter card right and i love i haven't done this kind of layout in a while so she's making me think oh i'm gonna have to use that fun. especially it's a great way that layout to show like four different patterns of designer series paper which you don't often get to do on a card and then that super cute little Easter bunny with his little bow tie, right? So thank you, Linda, for the Easter card. That was super sweet of you. I love that. Perfect, like, spring colors on there, too. So, okay. Um, oh, one more quick reminder to the one-day crafting retreat that is happening at the end of the month. So it's on Saturday, April 29th. Yeah, coming up. It's in about two weeks, two weeks from tomorrow, actually. Um, the last day to RSVP, 
is next Monday, the 17th. It would be, yes, right? Um, I will um, say if you know that you're thinking you want to um, come to the one-day retreat and you haven't told me yet, let me know ASAP because things are so backed up with like ordering through Stampin' Up that I want to make sure I get like goodie bag products in time um, for the one-day retreat. And I thought I was giving myself enough time and now I'm a little bit worried that um, I might not have given myself enough time. So if you're on the fence thinking about it, make your decision, let me know. We'd love to have you join us. We still have room for others. Um, again, Saturday, April 29th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church. Lots and lots of fun on that great day. I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't done one, maybe it was like October, so it's been a while. So ready to do another one and hang out with everybody for the day and craft right so yeah as I'm saying that I'm like ooh, you know I always have maybe a project or two that I like to do in between kind of making sure everybody else is good so I'm like I don't have to be thinking about what am I going to be doing hmm, hmm, hmm now my wheels are turning but okay I need to stay focused on <laughs> this Facebook live right now right Okay, so let's do our first drawing. We're gonna draw for the beautiful festive pearls. These are pearls that are carrying over into our next annual catalog, which I love. So we have some gold, silver, soft succulent, and then there are cherry cobbler um, little pearls up there too. So pretty kind of deep red color. And your name is right here in my little basket. If you shared our last Facebook Live video, if you shared my class to go kit post, or if you signed up for my email list. So we have one lucky winner. Who will it be? Who will it be? Thank you guys all for sharing the video. I truly appreciate that. That really helps me reach new friends, which is what I love to do. Um, make people smile and happy, um, enjoying this crafting that we all love to do, right? Okay, so one paper in my hand, Miss Pam Simmons. All right, congratulations, Pam. You are the winner of the Festive Pearls, so I will get those sent out to you. Congratulations. Okay, make sure. There, okay, I always have to make sure I got all of those names out. I'm gonna put the names in for the next drawing. Okay. So what are we gonna give away on our next Facebook Live, which is, like I said, it's gonna be two weeks from today. Um, I'm actually heading to Nashville next Thursday. So no Facebook Live next week. Um, it's like an aunts and cousins, like the girls' aunts and cousins weekend. We're all doing a road trip to Nashville. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so that's why we won't be um, on Facebook Live next Friday, but we'll be back um, on the 28th. Next Facebook Live, we will be giving away the beautiful it's so sad for me. These are the champagne rhinestones. They are retiring. We won't be able to get these rhinestones any longer. You guys are so sweet on your congratulations too to Pam. Um, but yeah, so these, okay, they're like champagne color, right? So rhinestone, I love all the bling, right? Always the bling. Um, but yeah, they're beautiful and they're just so sad. Like how oh, I want to hug them. They're going away. So this is one of those, if you haven't gotten your package of champagne rhinestones, you could win them if you share this Facebook Live video, if you share my class to go kit post, or if you sign up for my email list. Um, so make sure you do that and we'll draw for these at our next Facebook Live. And if you're worried, or maybe you need two packs in case you win one for sharing, order these while you still can, right? Before they retire. Retiring, um, I think everything's available Well, if it's still around, um, if yeah by May 1st is the last day to order out of the current adult annual catalog. And then May 2nd, let me verify that. It's always on the little spine of our catalog. Ooh, yes, May 1. <laughs> I'm like squinting trying to read that, but yes, that says May 1 because our next annual catalog, I think I can read that. Yep, says May 2, yep. <clears throat> Oh, yes, I know, Vina, I agree, because they go with everything, absolutely. Yeah, and they're just such a pretty, I don't, they're like a peachy, pinky, what, whatever you, I put them on those citrus cards too, and I thought they were great on there also. So, <laughs> yes, Deb, the good ones always retire, they do, don't they? But then, you guys, there's so much fun new stuff. I can't even talk about it yet, though, so we, we will, shortly we will. So, okay, um, all right, wow, okay. I'm like looking around trying to make sure I've covered everything. Um, let's see, yeah, I think we're ready to do our next drawing actually. So, all right, let's just get right to it, right? Okay, so if you put an online order in through me using April's host code, which is on my blog, and I'll show it um, on the camera in just a couple minutes, 
you definitely get both of these cards. These were the cards that I demonstrated. The Ranunculus Romance, I guess is how you say that stamp set, which is already sold out, unfortunately. Um, but yes, you'll get these two cards as a thank you from me for your online order of at least $50. You also got to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which this is my project. It, it matches really well there too, doesn't it, right? This was the project that I showed. Um, or put a tutorial together for, wait, what does it go that way or that way? There we go. <laughs> or, so you can pick from the PDF tutorial and learn how to make this card and 15 other beautiful cards featuring tons of gorgeous designer series paper. Or you get to pick from the free embellishment for April, which I don't even have them right now. They're on like the slow boat from China. Um, they are the iridescent pearls. So either PDF tutorial or the iridescent pearls. Plus in April, you also get a little sampler of that celebration, the Dandy Designs designer series paper. This super cute, I love, 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 love that paper. Oh my gosh, I just have to keep flashing it for you guys, right? So you could get this little cute package of paper as a thank you. And your name right now is in the drawing to win the already sold out the Suttles designer series paper because some of the colors are retiring here. All these packs of paper have to retire as well. Okay, <clears throat> so one lucky person will win the Suttles designer series paper. And who will it be? I feel like I want a drum roll, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit giddy today just because the weather's been so beautiful. Storm, my puppy Storm and I have been on like, I don't know, I'm gonna say five, but it's probably only been two walks every day. So yeah, we just can't, can't get enough of being outside and enjoying this beautiful weather. Okay, the winner is Miss Linda Danis. All right, congratulations, Linda. You are the winner of the Studdles Designer Series Paper Pack, so I will get that sent out to you along with all of the other goodies. And everyone else that ordered but didn't get their name drawn gets all those goodies too. So, all right. On our next Facebook Live, I have a package of the beautiful, this is the By the Bay Designer Series Paper. I have to open this up and show this to you guys. Another retiring product. So this is from our mm, mini catalog. Let's see, will you guys be able to, you can kind of see, right? And it's embossed. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh yeah, you can kind of see in the light there, right? One side is all Philomena, hello, welcome, is embossed. So that's got some embossing on it too. Ooh, the pretty seashells. Can you guys see? I'm too busy looking at it. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So kind of, um, yeah, lots of, haha, you're fine, uh, Philomena. I'm glad you're here. Anytime, anytime. Yeah, so look at just beautiful. Lots of, and then let's see, is that one? That's got a little bit of, yes, some gold embossing on there too. So seashells and ooh, that's cool too, isn't it, right? Look at, ooh, that'd be a good for like a masculine card. I always think of like these deep like navy blues, right, as like good for, ooh, that was cool too. How about that one, right? Ooh, very cool. Yes, beautiful paper. And then more blues, you guys get the idea, right? So yes, this is what we'll give away if you put an online order in through me of at least $50 basically for the rest of the month, for the month of the rest of April, you could win this by the Bay Designer Series paper. In addition to getting that little Dandy Designs Designer Series paper pack, for sure, you get a little sampler of that and the cards that I'm gonna show you in just a few moments. Oh, that's so pretty, look. See those, can you guys not put it back in the wrapper? It's a little bit hard to see, right? But it's beautiful, that paper is just beautiful. Okay. So, um, okay, annual catalog, like I said, we're not gonna spend much time on it. I just wanna kinda mention a couple of things. First of all, I did get a few boxes of annual catalogs. Hello, Sunday, see you at class in just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, getting a frog in my throat. So if you need one of these catalogs, let me know. I'd be happy to mail it to you. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, if you don't have one, if you're not, a, as a demonstrator, everyone that is a demonstrator, um, Stampin' Up! shipped a catalog to us all. So I got that one and then I got a few boxes um, that I'm gonna be giving out to um, customers at classes and things. But if you're interested and would like one of these catalogs, please let me know because I'm happy to mail it to you, okay? Um, in addition, I am doing a designer series paper share. I'm like dying to open this catalog up and show you, but we can't until 
May 2nd, okay? So in the meantime, just trust me that there is a ton of beautiful designer series paper in this catalog. Let me check my list here. So what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 packs of designer series paper that I'm going to put into the designer series paper share. It's $45, you get a quarter of a pack of all, what did I say, 12? <laughs> I'm already like forgetting, I'm pretty sure I said 12 packs of designer series paper from the annual catalog. Plus I'm going to throw in a sample of the new in color, the 2023-2025 in color designer series paper as a freebie for you as well, okay? So again, 12 packs of paper, a quarter of each pack, $45 plus a sample of our new in color designer series paper. I'm going to put my first paper share order in on the day that I can, which is, I think it's Tuesday, May 2nd. Um, so if you're interested, let me know. Um, <clears throat> I would love to put a bunch of orders in for these paper shares and then get you that paper ASAP as well. So if you're interested, let me know. I, like I said, I wish, I just can't show you anything on the inside of the catalog yet. It's like a, I think it's a, um, like, what do I want to say? You know, these cheap knockoff companies, then they like watch for us to screw up, I think, and post these things online so that then they can like make knockoffs of, especially the stamp sets. I think that's a big thing. Um, I've Somebody just posted the other day a stamp set that was completely a Stampin' Up! stamp set. And then they said it's being sold at one of the dollar stores. So I don't know. That's just really sad. The qualities cannot, it's it's got to be awful. So and sure, the paper wouldn't be nearly as good quality either. So you get what you pay for, especially in this paper product world, I believe. So sorry, I got off on a tangent there. <laughs> anyway, all because I can't show you the catalog, which just breaks my heart, because I want you guys to see all the beautiful designer series paper in there. So in addition, I'm also doing an in-color club. So I can show you, this is a graphic that we are allowed to share. Um, these are the new in-colors. Now, hold on. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna flip the camera down because I had to, you can see this little flag here. I don't even know the names of the colors in the new in, or the new in colors. And Deb, let's see. Oh, okay, you're si Okay, I'm sorry you won't be able to make it to class. We'll, we'll, um, take care of you for sure. Okay. So hope, and hopefully you feel better very soon. Okay. So actually that's what we're going to do. We're going to flip the camera down because <clears throat> I want to show you a couple things and it'll be easier to show you, um, with the camera down than, um, up here. So, okay. Turn your heads away. We're flying through the air as usual and I'll show you these new in colors. And then I, I'm losing, sorry, we lost the connection for a sec. We should be back though. Okay. Yep, I just have to flip the camera down. There, okay, so these are our new in colors. I have this, you can't see my camera. I've got to open a, or my catalog, not my camera. You can see the camera. Um, but I'm gonna tell you the new in colors. So this one is copper clay. This one is wild wheat. This one is boho blue. Moody mauve, I think that's really a fun name. And then pebbled path. So those are one, two, three, four. Those are our five new in colors, right? Uh, I'm gonna kind of zoom in so you guys can see those. So this, these are totally what I would say on trend. Um, colors like, these are all the colors that when my daughter goes shopping, when Lily goes shopping, she wants all of her clothes to be in these colors. I, <laughs> me, not quite so much. Like I'm, I'm gonna warm up to these colors. I, I have to admit, I was a little like, oh, they're kind of like muted and dusty, but that's what tends to happen is we have like really bright, bold colors um, and then kind of more deep or muted, subtle tones the next year. So they kind of alternate back and forth. So these are gonna be gorgeous. I know <laughs> that I will love them. I, th I think it's because I wanna get my hands on them too. Like if you look, I mean, they kind of have a picture like that's the ribbon that's gonna come in all the in colors and they're gonna do twine also. So let me tell you, let me grab my little cheat sheet here again for the in color club. <clears throat> so this is how the in color club works, right? You, it's a five month club because each month you get one of the colors. So one month pebbled path. I'm trying to like remember these copper copper clay, <laughs> wild wheat, boho blue, and moody mauve. I have those two, boho blue and moody mauve, wild wheat, copper clay, and pebbled. I gotta make sure. Yep, pebbled path. 
Okay, so for example, one month you would get Boho Blue and you're gonna get the full pack of cardstock, the ink pad. Yes, okay, Philomena, the earth. Yes, they're very earthy, that's it. Okay, I'm glad you love them. Like I said, I know, I think they just kind of don't, I am I like the bright, bold colors more so. And obviously these are like the complete opposite of that. So yeah, I, they're beautiful. And I'm sure once I get my hands on them and start playing with them and seeing all the other beautiful ideas that um, other people post out there are gonna fall in love with them too. So if you're already in love with them, think about the In Color Club, right? Okay, so cardstock. So for example, like I said, one month you're gonna get everything in boho blue. So a full pack of cardstock, the ink pad, the ink refill, that beautiful textured ribbon. You're gonna get a stamp and write marker, the blends, the In Color Designer Series paper in Boho Blue, and then one full spool of the jute trim, which is what, so it's kind of like a linen thread probably, um, but in each of these colors, okay? It's $59 per month. Then the next month you would get the Pebbled Path, then maybe the next month the Copper Clay, the next month Wild Wheat, and the next month Moody Mauve. How I'll kind of, I have a little spreadsheet and I put your name on each month and each color so everybody I make sure gets one of each color in each month. It's $59 per month for the five months. One month, you get $20 in free product, whatever you want. You pick whatever you'd like. And then you also get the free, the in-color dots in those new in colors as well. So if you're interested, let me know. If I have five people by May 5th, then I will put my first in color club order in on May 5th. So let me know if you're interested. It's a great way to kind of budget out over the next five months. So it'd be May, June, July, August, and September. And then you'd have all of the product and all of our in colors by the end of the summer, essentially. So how cool is that, right? Okay, one other quick thing I wanna show you. This was shared right here on our Facebook group. And I thought, how cool is this? So if you guys can kind of see, this is called a hex chart. And if you look, you're gonna see some of our new, so the new in colors. All right, Philomena, count you in. Okay, I'll put you on my list. Um, yes, yeah, so let's see, we've got some of the new in colors, like at what was just bumping out at me. There's copper clay right there. There's wild wheat right there, pebbled path. Um, where was the other, the blue, where's my boot? My boho blue, and then the mauve, the moody mauve right there. Plus, if you look very closely, you'll see some returning in colors, like Lost Lagoon is from a while ago. Where was another one? Um, where's the blue? The blueberry bushel is coming back. And then we've got some brand new colors. I should probably just scan through. So Lemon Lime Twist, that's a returning in color. Um, where's a new, uh, lemon lolly. That's a brand new color. Crushed curry. Pecan pie is a brand new color. Cajun craze. Coastal cabana. So, hmm, 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 hmm. That's a, that's one of our new in colors, the copper clay. Cause I don't even know. Lost Lagoon. I mentioned that was a returning color. These are all pretty. Peacock is another returning in color. Um, <clears throat> Boho Blue is one of our brand new in colors. Bubble Bath, that's a new, really pretty pale pink, kind of replacing Blushing Bride, I would say. Just kind of updating Azure Afternoon. So this is the one that I, I guess I'm going to have to use in place of my Bermuda Bay. Kind of a pretty bright blue right there. Um, what else? What else was that? At Blueberry Bushel is coming back too. Yeah, so new brand new never be seen never before seen colors some in colors that retired that are coming back and some brand new in colors so this is kind of our whole color collection right now and you can see like philomena mentioned it is i think some more earthy tones kind of you know on trend with what you see um out there you know shopping and so on right and in, in retail stores so gonna have lots of fun with new stuff but in the meantime we're still kind of Continuing to focus on retiring stuff because that's what you can get right now. Okay, so let me give you, here's our host code for April, the PSR6K2S7. Let me grab my designer series, or not my, <laughs> I'm gonna grab my grid paper and a sip of water. Mm -hmm. And we are going to get started here. Here I'm like walking back and forth <laughs> side to side on the table. Okay, so you know what I am? I'm going to show you one more time. 
this host designer series paper because it's so pretty and it's one of those like um i ordered it and i used it a little bit way back when it first came out jessica hello thanks for joining us but this is again the design a daydream designer series paper host designer series paper that you can get just for the next little while right but you can see so let's see the colors are blackberry bliss daffodil delight mint macaron old olive petal pink and pool party so most of those are staying. Mint Macaron is the one that is retiring. Um, but anyway, just beautiful, beautiful colors and patterns. And check this one out, right? So this is one of the designs in the Design a Day Dream designer series paper with this fun sentiment, wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. And then I put a little happy birthday on the inside. So let me start by showing you how we're going to make that card right there. Okay, the sentiment is from the Pansy Patch stamp set. So that wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. Fun, fun um, sentiments in here too, right? The little things you do make such a big difference. Love you so much. A little hello from me to you. Thank you and happy birthday. And there's something about that cursive. It's like the most beautiful, perfect. I have a friend named Michelle who I feel like she used to, well, Friend from high school, I say, say used to because I haven't seen her writing in a while, um, but I, she had writing, hand, beautiful handwriting like this. So I think she maybe made this, um, she wrote this stamp set for Stampin' Up. <laughs> anyway, but this stamp set and the dies are not retiring. I think this is one of the bundles though that is retiring. So if you love the Pansy Patch stamp set and dies, get the bundle while you still can. They will be available, but separately, so then you won't get that 10% discount. So, okay. Let me grab a couple more things. I want to give you the dimensions and then I'll tell you what we've got going here. Okay, so we're going to start with, um, this is balmy blue cardstock. Okay, so I already cut off, so along the 11 inch side, I already cut it down to eight and a half inches. Okay, so it's essentially an eight and a half by eight and a half inch square piece. I cut it in half at four and a quarter, and then I scored it at three inches, okay? So here's our fold on our card, and it's gonna go just like that, right, okay? Then we have a piece of basic white cardstock that goes right there that measures the four by five and a quarter, and we're gonna emboss that piece and put that one right inside there. Then I have this petal pink cardstock, which is that piece right there that measures two and a half by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter inches. That's gonna go right there, and you're gonna layer that right on there, okay? Then we'll show you the white piece on the inside measures two and one quarter by four inches, so that's gonna go right there. Then we've got a designer series paper on the outside, same size, two and a quarter by four inches. And then last, this piece of designer series paper that's gonna go right on there, then this one measures two and three quarters by four inches, and that's gonna go right there. I always like to mention measurements, item codes, names, colors, everything that you need to know will be on my blog. It's actually not gonna be until tomorrow morning because right after Facebook Live, I need to run to card class, but I will get everything posted tomorrow um, on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, okay? Um, and then I've just got a couple of scrap pieces for my stamping and punching here. Um, Deb, this is, she's asking what embossing folder we're using. This is the Cane Weave 3D embossing folder. Isn't that, so it looks like a, a, like a pretty baby blanket, doesn't it? Like a pretty white, like, oh, beautiful baby blanket <laughs> is what I think of when I look at that. Okay, so let's see, we're going to do, we have just a little bit of stamping, so we might as well do that. Scoot these pieces. These are all ready to go. We just need to do the embossing on there, right? Okay. Um, okay, so we're going to stamp our happy birthday. So we've got our balmy blue ink. Of course, that's always the beauty of stamping up, right? That we've got ink and cardstock and ribbon, designer series paper, embellishments that all coordinate so beautifully. Okay, look at happy birthday. So isn't that love that font, right? Mm. Okay. All right. Then on this piece, we're going to stamp our sentiment. Sentiment. <laughs> okay. Wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. Beautiful, right? And I think that was it for stamping, right? We've just got those two there. Okay. Oh, and then we're going to emboss this piece. Okay. Don't need that one, do I? We're making this at card class, actually, also. 
Okay, so I'm cheating. I'm using a two inch circle punch. You can use, um, if you have a two inch circle punch, um, we don't currently sell them, um, but you might have one, or you can use one of your circle dies too. But that's, did that right there. And then we're gonna punch with our decorative circle punch. This is just a scrap piece of balmy blue cardstock. Okay, so we've got those two. Those are gonna layer right on there like that. All right, let's do our embossing and then we can put things together. Okay, this and this, I'm always like arranging and rearranging. Okay. okay. And I'll give you a close up there. Are we in better view? I don't think that I looked to make sure that <clears throat> my grid paper was in view there very well. I was probably like off camera a bit, I have a feeling. Okay, so again, the cane weave embossing folder. We're gonna lay this right inside there. Just make sure it's straight because you don't want like crooked, crooked embossing, right? Okay. Cranking this through. I'll show you guys this because it's so pretty. Isn't that cool? Cane weave. But yeah, like I said, I think it looks like a pretty baby blanket. And there's the reverse side, so kind of indented I guess this I say this one pops out and then this one's more indented so you can use whichever side you like right all of a sudden I'm like oh I gotta bring all this to to class don't I <laughs> for making it <laughs> and I do know that but you know sometimes go on a mile a minute and <laughs> the details get foggy for me okay so let me grab my adhesive. We will go ahead and add our embossed. I like to use a lot of adhesive um, around all the edges on the embossed piece there, just so it doesn't curl up, because it can. You know, it kind of, with all that texture on there, it doesn't want to lay down quite as well. Okay. Next, we are going to add our petal pink piece. And I'm just gonna kind of lay this right on here and make sure it's kind of top to bottom, side to side, doesn't look crooked. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're gonna put our happy birthday on the inside. I'm trying to think of what else. So the designer series paper is retiring. I already told you about the stamp set. This um, embossing folder is carrying over, so you don't have to worry about that. The cane weave embossing folder. Isn't that print pretty on the back of that too? I'll show you that again, because it's on the back of that one also. Oh, there's just something about these patterns. I think they're so pretty, right? Yeah, so there's the one side. Oh, you're right. It does make it even prettier, doesn't it? I think of baby cards too, when I'm kind of looking at these pretty pastel soft colors, right? You can make a cute like welcome baby card if you needed something like that. And I'll tell you guys too, I thought I was out of pool party cardstock because they told me that this is actually pool party, but I don't think it is, it's not offensive to me at all because pool party and balmy blue are pretty close, but they told me that this blue in the designer series paper is pool party, but I think it works really well with the balmy blue also. So a little cheating moment there. <laughs> so I had my pool party cardstock pulled out for my make and takes for my team meeting. Um, and they were, it was buried underneath something. So I thought I didn't have any. So I'm like, I guess I have to use balmy blue. And then of course later I, <laughs> I found my pool party cardstock, but that's all right. Okay, so we're just gonna put a couple dimensionals on those. We're gonna put that right about there. And then, like I mentioned, the beauty of Stampin' Up! products, right? We've got our balmy blue and white. This is the variegated ribbon, so you can kind of see that really pretty soft, kind of, it's like blue on one side, white on the other, and it just kind of washes from the blue into the white, right? So. And that's why I had to use balmy blue cardstock now that we're talking about it, right? Because I really wanted to use this balmy blue ribbon too. And now, <laughs> now that I say that, it's going to be a little futsy for me. There is something um, on this ribbon. I don't know what it is, the texture of it that makes it um, 
it's not difficult to handle, but I just have to work a little bit more to make a pretty bow, I guess is what I'd say. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Oops, it's falling off there, right? Isn't that so pretty? There we go. Yeah, beautiful, right? All right, we're going to trim this down. And this one right there, okay? And then I need a mini glue dot. Okay, here we go. Let's grab one of these mini glue dots. And we're just gonna put that right down there. Isn't that so cute? Wishing a little extra happiness just because you're you. Happy birthday. <laughs> so cute, huh? Yeah, I love that embossing folder. It just totally makes that card. I agree, ladies. Okay, so there is card number one. Actually, let me, let me just get these things put back in my little tub because I gotta make sure they make it to class with me. Okay. Oops. Put one over there. Okay. Now, okay, so our next card again features more of that Design a Daydream designer series paper. Let's actually move that, right? So now I know I'm in view if I'm on my right. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. I'm glad you like that. So this one obviously has, I love the stripes here too. I definitely am like a stripe girl. Uh, but then this beautiful pattern here too with the Blackberry Bliss. So we've got a lot of those kind of softer tones with our pool party and our petal pink, old olive. Um, even the Daffodil Delight is a little bit more mm, subtle, I guess. But this is a pop of color, right? With the rich razzleberry. And I love that sentiment, right? Light is better with friends like you. And then those cute little flowers there too. And are you guys seeing there's something new here? I just, I was actually going to entirely focus on these are the radiating stitches dies. And then I looked on our inventory status report and they're actually not, they're like, uh, what are we, we calling this? Like online exclusives. So there are things that you're probably seeing out there online that are not in our catalogs. Those are part of our online exclusives, including these radiating stitches dies. So they're not ever going to be in a catalog and they're kind of only here while supplies last. So they're on back order right now. And I think I have a note somewhere. Um, let's see, the dies are going to be available on May 8th is what they're telling us, or the week of May 8th. So let me show you them just because I think they're so cool and I think you're going to love them. So there's this beautiful, this big, bold one right here. We actually use this one and this one right here and here. And then there's some little circles and then a heart too with the stitching on it also. So keep these in mind. Like I said, you can't order them quite yet. So I didn't want to go crazy showing them, but I started making this card and I was like, that is going to fit perfectly right on there. So I had to do it, ladies. But yes, they're called the Radiating Stitches Dies. They're item code 161595 and they will be available again on May 8th. So, you know, a little less than a few weeks from now, right? Okay. So anyway, I just, I had to use them. I could not. So you guys put them on your list and when you can get them, then that's what you should do, right? Okay. So we're also using the Flowers of Friendship stamp set, which uh, is retiring. So there's that fun sentiment. We've got the thank you for everything. Many thanks from all of us and little card, big thanks. And then these little flowers right here coordinate with the flowers and leaves punch. So this punch is also retiring. So if you don't have the stamp set and punch, you might want to get them at least, you know, while you still can. Okay. Let me just grab what we need and I will tell you how we made this card. Okay, so we have a piece of, this is Blackberry Bliss. We'll go just like that, right? So Blackberry Bliss cardstock. So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then actually, let's see, what are we going to do? Um, yes, yeah, so along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at two and one eighth and four and one quarter, okay? So, <laughs> you guys are so funny. Hi, Beth, and you want those dies, huh, Deb? I know. I'll put, you, I'll put them on the list for you, okay? And I'll order them for you as soon as we can. Okay, so that's how that's gonna work right there, right? Okay, let's see, what else? Let me show you. We have our piece of designer series paper that goes on the inside there, measuring four by five and a quarter, a very standard measuring size for that piece right there, right? Then... Um, 
that's almost about it, other than like scrap pieces. So we have this piece of designer series paper that goes right there that is going to measure one and seven eighth by five and a quarter. That's gonna go right there, right? And then I've got basically some scrap pieces of basic white, Blackberry Bliss, and Daffodil Delight. So those are for the flowers, and then these pieces are for the dyes also, okay? So let's see, I'm going to stamp my flowers first. Okay, so I want my, I'll do this, get my Daffodil Delight ink. And again, the beauty of stamping up, right? We've got our Daffodil Delight cardstock, our Daffodil Delight ink coordinating with the designer series paper in Daffodil Delight. Okay, now these you want to stamp a little bit further apart. I learned that the hard way when I was designing this card because these little pieces kind of punch out also. So we're gonna get this in here, line that guy up there, okay? And you can see since I spaced it out, I didn't stamp on my little, or punch on my little flower. So there, and you get a few extra pieces that you just have to clean up later, okay? So we just need these two little flowers and everything else can go away. Okay, so we're gonna put those right on there. Now I'm gonna do all of my die cutting, my two um, stitched or my radiating stitches dies. Actually, it's three of them, right? Okay, so we're gonna have to crank things through maybe a time or two. Let's see, we'll get this going. And we're actually using these radiating stitches dies on our make and takes at our team meeting this month also. So that'll be kind of fun and I'll be able to share those with you guys on our next Facebook Live too. Okay, so we need a white, kind of a smaller and a larger, and then we need a larger of the two here in the Blackberry Bliss. But let's see, can you guys see? There, can you see those stitches around the edge? The one that is actually the coolest is this big one right here, because obviously it's even bigger and so it's, it's almost like um, sunburst or something, the way it, it um, kind of goes around the edges there. These are a little bit smaller, so you don't see kind of the stitching quite as much, I guess, but they're still fun. Okay, so we've got this one and this one. We're gonna do one more on Blackberry Bliss. Okay. Crank this one, one more crank, there we go, okay. So I don't know, maybe you can see it better on here. Let's see if you can see this. Eh, I don't know, <laughs> it's so dark, isn't it? But they're beautiful, I promise. And you're gonna see them all over the place. That's probably, maybe you already have seen them all over the place. Um, so I decided I wanted to stamp after I die cut, which is not usually how I do it. Um, but hopefully, Hopefully everything works out okay. I kind of wanted to stamp this up a little bit higher so I had room for my flowers down below. But yeah, that worked out all right. Okay, so let's see, what are we gonna do? Let's put some things together. I'm gonna let that sit just for a sec. I need my adhesive. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do, run it and tip it back, ladies. Oh, isn't that cool? So pretty, isn't that? Oh, Nikki, hello, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Okay, there we go. We're gonna put that piece there. That's pretty too, isn't it? Ooh, yay, 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 yay. This is pool party right here. Beautiful, right? And then those funky stripes, maybe we'll go that way on this one, right? Okay, so there we go with that. Okay, now we are going to Yep, my, I determined that if you put the one on the inside first and get that lined up where you want, so you can write on this one, right? Then I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna add this sentiment to our other guy here, okay? And then we just wanna put adhesive on the backside of this right here. 
Don't need it over there because then you won't be able to open and close your card. Now, this is why I put that one down first so I can lay this on here and line it up, kind of move it around where I need so that you can't see it until you open your card, okay? There we go. Next, I'm gonna put just a little bit of adhesive on my flowers, and I did kind of curl them up a little bit, so we're gonna do one there. Curl those up just a little bit, and we'll do one right there. Okay, now we have, these are the opaque adhesive-backed gems, and they come in white, fresh freesia, I'm gonna say sweet sorbet and gorgeous grape, and these are retiring also. So make sure if you like these, and you can you kind of see, so they're faceted like our rhinestones, but they're just in a color. So maybe they don't sparkle quite as much, but I think they're very, very pretty. Excuse me, oops, sorry, I just, I just hit that. Okay, so we're gonna add a couple of these little babies. Yeah, in the right light, you can see kind of the faceted, the facetedness of them. <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> the facetedness? <laughs> Probably not, but I don't know. Can you kind of see in the light there? So yeah, life is better with friends like you. Who wouldn't love to receive that card, right? Okay, so there we go, ladies. Again, flowers of friendship stamp, and then the punch that coordinates with those little flowers retiring. <coughs> okay, so you got a couple more weeks to potentially order those. <coughs> All right, I'm getting a little frog in my throat. <coughs> that means it's time to stop talking, doesn't it? Mm. Okay, one quick sip of water. Okay, so <coughs> make sure if you would like to get any of these products, put your order online in through me of at least $50 using this host code right here. You're going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me. Your name is going to go into the drawing to win the Buy the Bay Designer Series paper. You get to pick from a free embellishment, which are the iridescent pearls or the PDF tutorial. Plus, this month only in April, you also get a sampler pack of the Dandy Designs Designer Series paper. This was the celebration paper. Such cute. This is perfect springtime paper as well, right? Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Like I said, everything will be uploaded on my blog tomorrow morning. So if you need any more details or you can just rewatch the video right here too. All right, thanks guys. Have a great weekend. Bye everybody.